In this video, I will show you how to use Bilingweb, an app you can use to learn and practice languages from stories and songs. First, you can look for the app in any app store your cell phone may have. All you need to do is write Bilingweb and download the app. Then, when you already have the app in your phone, you just need to open it. Now, they are going to give you some announcements for you to understand more what the app is about. At the end of it, you are going to have the option to select your native language and the one you want to practice. They ask you for your Google account or your Facebook account to create your profile. So you decide what access you prefer to give the app and done, you're ready to start. In the library, you can see all the stories the Lingweb is offering you. You click on one and download the text and audio. Then all you need to do is press play and read along. My father was a St. Bernard. My mother was a Collie. But I am a Presbyterian. This is what my mother told me. I do not know these nice distinctions myself. To me, they are only fine, large words meaning nothing. My mother had a fondness for such. She liked to say them. She liked to see other dogs look surprised and envious, as wondering how she got so much education. But indeed, it was not real education. It was only show. She got the words by listening in the dining room and drawing room when there was company by going with the children to Sunday school and listening there. Whenever she heard a large word, she said it over to herself many times. After you listen and read, you can look for words you are unfamiliar with and add them to the glossary, for you to remember and even write the definition once you already look for it. For example, I selected gathering and you can add any other word the text may have. But you can only listen to the pronunciation of the world or the translation if you have a premium account. You can add as many stories as you want and find them in the favorite section, along with the stories you may download in the glossary. Overall, I think it's just a great app for people to practice a language they may struggle with because uh, it's a very fun way to do that. They have stories and some of them are very interesting and they have songs too. So yeah, it can be very fun for them and very helpful in my opinion. Um, something I don't like that much is that the app doesn't give you that much freedom when it comes to use the free version. You have to pay for a lot of things and I think that would be a lot better if they will be available in the free version. In general, it's a very good app and I would totally recommend it to everyone.